بیر ما و که خود خطر نکردی. The day I was concise, they said I should open my leg, and I did what they said. My mother told me this is my passage to womanhood. They say if you refuse to lie down, we will force you to lie down. My dad bring some rope and tight me and hold me very strong. I could feel the blade cutting. Every cut, I was struggling. When I was shouting because the pain was too much, I really thought I was going to die. They say it's tradition. Which type of tradition? We need influential religious leaders to make that clear to people that this is not a religious application. The pictures were so horrible, I didn't want to show you. This is what I see Put an end to female sex. Are you with me? Yes, sir. In my community, FGM is practiced as a religious requirement. As a campaigner, they believe that you are just introducing Western churches. For me to convince them, I had to now bring in people who are highly respected. I've seen a lot of changes in my community since I've begun engaging the religious leaders. Talking through media is even more powerful. Ici à Bamako, fin des travaux du Forum national sur les conséquences médicales des mutilations génitales féminines. L'excision est perçue par la déclaration des imams à la première chaîne du Mali dire que l'excision n'est pas une obligation de religion musulmane. Ça, c'est une grande satisfaction. When religious leaders talking about the holy books does not talk about female genital mutilation. The circumcision of women is not allowed in Islam. That's what really helping me towards ending FGI. The decision has nothing to do with the religion. Absolutely not. Even if you have a hadith, 
je profite de votre antenne pour rappeler tous les leaders religieux, qu'ils soient musulmans, chrétiens, protestants et même des religions traditionnelles africaines, eh bien, à nous mettre ensemble pour que ces pratiques répréhensibles et condamnables, évidemment, soient complètement éradiquées.